We're starting off, you guys. This is how we're starting off. Um. Oh, there's a face in there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's your girl, Emily, and um, I am doing another Let's Play. I did not think that I would after the hell that I went through on that last with Mystery Legends, but um, you know what? I've been feeling like shit for the past couple of days and thought, you know what? It's just nerding out gaming time and might as well record a video while I'm at it. So I am here in my uh sweatpants here and we're just gonna rock some 90s nostalgia up in this bitch today uh this is return of the phantom it is a i believe a point and click adventure game from 1993 i was like two i think <laughs> um I'm having serious flashbacks here of watching my dad play Doom and <laughs> I don't know anything about this game, so I guess we're just going to get to it and see what happens. Oh, that intro is so creepy. Anyway, so now it's uh, asking for a difficulty level. We're going to go with novice because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be a scrub. Oh, Monsieur Montan, there you are. Step down here, please. I wish to speak with you. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Chandelier's broken. This is hilarious. It's so 90s. As manager of the opera, I just wanted to thank you, Monsieur. We are so fortunate that you were attending the premiere tonight without your assistance in caring for the victims and dealing with the ensuing chaos, the situation would have been much worse. Okay. I thank you for you I thank you for all you have done, Raoul. It is not every detective with the Surete who is also a patron of the opera. I do hope you will continue to investigate this horrible tragedy. I'm afraid we have only just begun. Let us discuss how to proceed. Wait. What? Rao? I don't know what's happening right now. Alright, I'm trying to click. Nothing to thank me, Mr. Bree. <laughs> if that's supposed to be Rao, then Jesus Christ, superstar. Um. Okay. Not since you acted admirably and valiantly. I hope you will continue to do so when I tell you what I have to say. What do you mean? Only that it is the work of a madman and he must be stopped. Who knows when he might strike again? Uh, tell me everything you know about this. Whom suggest I speak with until... Uh... Tell me everything you know. There are a lot of lunatics in Paris. <laughs> I've 
firmly believe that this is a copycat crime. Oh, uh, so this is the second time the chandelier has been knocked down, I guess. And um, they think somebody's imitating Eric. It was me. Uh, are you sure you have no suspects at the opera? What do you mean by copycat crime? I mean, I think we all know what he means. Why do you not see this is precisely the same crime committed by the Phantom of the Opera in 1881. They got the year right! Oh! Okay, instant respect for this game. Okay. Uh, someone is trying to make us think that the Phantom has returned. Uh, are you sure you have no suspects here at the opera? <laughs> music, what? I trust my staff implicitly. Our stage manager has confirmed that all employees were in their positions when the crime occurred. I have sent everyone home. I suppose you could return to the theater tomorrow should you wish to question anyone who is not here now. Uh, tell me more about the Phantom. His name was Eric. He lived below the opera while the thing was being built. <laughs> He caused a lot of havoc because he was in love with the ingenue named Christine Daae. Some of the things were found at the turn of the century, so he must have died sometime between 1881 and 1900. Dang, they are... I'm, I'm liking this, this accuracy. Uh, Christine Daae, any relation to tonight's star? Oh, so we've got a descendant of Christine? You mean Christine Florent? No, I do not think so. What things? Um, what things were found? His mask, the original score to his opera Don Juan Triumphant, and a wedding ring, supposedly the one he originally gave to Christine Daae. She returned it to him before she disappeared with her lover, the Vicomte de Chagny. His name was Raoul too, by the way. Where are these artifacts now? Yeah kept them on display here in the opera library for years. Feel free to go see them. There are some other documents in the library which will give you some information on the phantom. How were the artifacts found? I'm just asking a bunch of questions because I've never done this. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, some excavation was performed in the catacombs around the turn of the century. The ruins of a strange abode were found. A skeleton was discovered within, along with the artifacts. It was believed that this was the body of Eric, but no one has ever really proven it. This is straight out of LaRue's novel, y'all. I am thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly impressed. Whom do you suggest I speak with? This guy's mustache kills me. Find Charles, our stage manager. He should be able to help you. Uh, where can I find Charles? You should be able to find him in the stage left wing at his post. Um, how do I get around the theater? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's figure out how this game works. Uh, go east to the orchestra pit and then to the trap... Trap room? 
That means something completely different by today's standards. <laughs> uh, that should lead you backstage. Charles can direct you from there. Okay, so if we're talking like east and west here, am I just supposed to assume that they mean go to the left? I mean, right? I would like you to explore the theater, talk to people you see, find out where this madman is hiding. Good lord, man, there were people murdered tonight, and I don't think this lunatic is going to stop there. Please, I ask you, Ral, as a friend, see what you can find out. I shall be in my office shortly. Come find me and give me a report on your progress, then I'll give you further instruction. Good luck. Till later, dude. Um, well, I guess we'll, he said go east. Yeah, okay, they just meant go right. Doesn't <laughs> matter if it's actually east or not. Oh my god, they walk so slow. <laughs> okay, and then... Supposed to go to stage. Okay. Is there anything around here that I need to be? Because I'm just sitting here thinking about the Mystery Legends game and how easy it was to miss crap. If this is really how slow this guy is gonna walk the entire time, I think we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> audio is just being weird. Um, let's see, you can go up there. Let's see. doing what the <laughs> why is he walking like that <laughs> what the f I think I did see something in this game where, like, okay, you can go here, and then, uh, pull, and... Okay, you have to open the trap door first. Uh, how does one do that? Is this a lever? This thing is so pixelated, it's hard to tell. Ah. Okay, I'm starting to kind of get the hang of this. How does this work? No. I'm so confused. Okay, making progress. 
And I think this game is like two hours long or something. Um, who knows, it may take me a lot longer than that. <clears throat> but, uh, so this will be in at least two parts. Get up there. <laughs> We're gonna see Eric sneaking around again. <laughs> Why the hell was he walking like that? Um, no, they said. S they said go stage left. So. Oh, well, here's this guy. Is he playing organ? Or was he just... Because... Like, you know, the stage manager has a... Like, a little, like, thing that they sit at, you know, backstage, but the way he was moving his hands looked like he was, like, playing an instrument. I was like... <laughs> um... Are you Charles? Uh... Please tell me about your job here at the theater. I am stage manager. Since you obviously do not know what that is, I shall tell you. Quite literally, the stage manager runs the show once rehearsals have ended and the show opens. A show belongs to the director only until opening night, at which time I am in charge. Uh, please continue. Uh, from my command station here, I stay in constant communication with virtually everyone in the theater. I make sure they're that the show runs smoothly and without a hitch. I follow the script as it goes and call all of the sound and lighting cues. And though it is not my official job description, I handle certain personal, uh, personnel problems uh, when they arise. Sort of personnel problems. I make sure everyone is here on time. For one thing, I take care of personality clashes between stars. I make sure everyone is happy. Sniff. Are you sick? Did you... Like, what is happening here? <laughs> Please tell me more about the Opera House. The Opera House was designed by Charles Garnier uh, and first commissioned during the reign of the Emperor Napoleon III. Construction began in 1854 with demolition of the already existing buildings on the site. And it wasn't until 1861 that the first foundation stone was laid. The opera did not officially open until 1875. So we go from Mystery Legends with the, their, their Phantom game, which was full of historical inaccuracies, and it just drove me insane. And then we have this game. They did their freaking research. Bravo. Go on, please. This history is fascinating. It is. Work was halted in 1870 on the onset of the Franco-Prussian War. Napoleon III was exiled and the Commune of Paris took control of the city. The opera was taken over by the communards as an arsenal and warehouse and military prison. M more sniffing. Uh, prison? Yes. Many prisoners were incarcerated and tortured deep in the catacombs be below the opera. By 1872, the communists were defeated and the new government was installed. Three years later, the opera house was completed and staged its first performance. They didn't waste any time. <laughs> uh, very interesting. How big is the building? Or tell me more about the tell me more about the catacombs. The water level on the site was bad. There is a lake deep beneath the stage area. It's a, now basically a sewer. 
<laughs> Ever since the commune was in control and the area was used as a prison, it seems to be a perpetual chill that no amount of modern electric lighting is able to dispel. Some folks believe the area down there to be haunted. More sniffling. How do I get down there? You can't. It was sealed off a long time ago. If there's a way down there, then it's through some secret passage we don't know about. Very interesting. How big is this building? It covers nearly three acres, 17 stories high, seven of which are below street level. The stage itself is 170, 175 feet wide and 85 feet deep. Electric lighting replaced the auditorium gas light uh, gasliers in 1881. It is a magnificent building. Yes, it is. And before I die, I have to see it because. Oh, by the way, I'm this dude. What of it? Uh, can you tell me about it? Everyone was in position. There was no one at the fly loft or the catwalks. Filled. The lighting is controlled from the booth. I cannot imagine how it could have happened. This guy needs, like some cold medicine or something. Do you have any suspects? Well, I don't, but some of the ballet girls certainly do. Naturally. Uh, what do you mean the ballet girls know something? They believe it's the opera ghost, you see. One ballerina in particular is spreading rumors. Uh, opera ghost? Do you mean the Phantom of the Opera? No shit, Sherlock. Yes, isn't it silly? They are saying the Phantom's ghost returned to seek revenge on those who did him wrong a hundred years ago. Have you seen a man with a cape recently? <laughs> we sure did, didn't we? No, I've not seen anyone since everyone went home an hour ago. Who is this ballerina? Can I speak with her? Her name is Julie Giri. I believe she is still here, probably in her dressing room. I have not seen her leave tonight. Some of the cast stay all hours at the theater. Naturally, it's going to be a descendant of... Uh... Where is her dressing room? Uh, through the stage right door backstage, you will find a staircase to the dressing room. Who else might be here? As soon as I finish what I'm doing, I'm going home. You might find Christine Florent in her dressing room. She is so dedicated to her art that she never leaves. Ah. How was the chandelier attached? There's an alcove in the ceiling through which the chandeliers, electrical wires, and harnesses are rigged. You must go to the fly loft and traverse the catwalks above the ceiling to get there. The chandelier is periodically pulled up to this alcove for maintenance. Okay. You're welcome. Now I can finish writing down these sound cues so I can get out of here and go home. Goodbye, sir. so confused um what's that noise is that the sound of him walking what This is already very odd. Um. Yellow frame. Let's 
slides and slot yeah the gel um what is this exactly <laughs> talk to Maybe you should put it in plain sight? What? Walk to headset. The property of the Paris Opera House would not be much use to you anyway. <laughs> um. I'm very confused. Put the yellow. F Maybe you should put it in plain sight. What the hell does that mean? I know this is a headset, but I don't know what this is. Naturally, the door is locked. Um, and y'all, if I get stuck, I will jump cut because I have no idea what's happening right now and good lord. Oh, there's a, like a look. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, go. Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> We've been through this. So are we going to be able to find out what the hell this thing is over here on the wall? I want to know what it wants me to do with Put it in plain sight.
Maybe Charles wants it. We discovered somewhere new. Um, it's not anyone you recognize. Well, I wouldn't think so, considering it, it's a statue. This guy walks so slow that we've just got this amazing music in the background. <laughs> I'm guessing this is Meg. I mean, Julie. <laughs> Have a seat while I practice. What can I do for you? Uh... What are your thoughts regarding the chandelier tragedy? Glad you asked. It was the opera ghost. He has returned. I always knew he would. How do you know it's the ghost? Because I saw him. Where and when did you see him? Two nights ago, I was coming out of my dressing room and I saw him on the staircase. He turned to me and then quickly ran up the stairs. I was too frightened to follow. What did he look like? He was dressed formally, but his clothes were rather old-fashioned. The kind that he they wore during his day. He had on a cape and was carrying a cane. He was not wearing a mask. I only caught a glimpse of his face. For It was very dark. It looked like a skull. Oh, ho, ho. What do you say that you always knew he would return? Because I have dreamt about it. I have some the powers that my great grandmother had. Your great grand powers? What? Madame Giry worked at the opera. Uh, what's it? It would be called an usher. She looked after the boxes. She was in charge of Phantom's personal box. Um, tell me more about Madame Giry. To put it bluntly, she was a psychic. What? 
She communicated with the Phantom without ever seeing him or speaking to him directly. She also wrote a book about him, which you can find in the Opera Library. Communicated with him? Yes, he would leave her instructions in his box, but she almost always knew beforehand what he wanted and provided it. The ghost tipped her very well. He was good to her. Uh, tell me about the book. She wrote it in the turn of the century after the Phantom's supposed death. She became something of an authority on the man. If you haven't read it, you probably should. Uh, tell me about your dreams. I see him in a haze of darkness and shadows. He emerges. He has a woman with him, dressed in white, but I cannot see her face. She is wearing a mask. I think I know who she might be, though. Who do you think she is? The Phantom was in love with a singer named Christine Daae. It could be her. But I have a theory that it might be in Christine Florent. There is some kind of connection between the two. Not only do they look alike, but they are both gifted singers. Perhaps this is why the ghost has returned here and now, because of her. Uh, and I guess continue asking about the box. It was box five. He had ordered the manager of the opera never to sell the box as it was his. He would attend the opera in that box, but no one knew how he got into it. He certainly didn't go through the door. Didn't your great-grandmother see him in the box? Never. She never tried to see him. She was a little afraid of him, despite his kindness. But my mother said that my great-grandmother told her that uh, Box 5 had some kind of trick in it. Tell me a little more about yourself. Well, I'm a dancer with the ballet corps. I'm taking acting lessons and hope to become a prima donna like Christine Florent. Y you gotta take voice lessons for that. <laughs> uh, do you know Christine Florent well? She's very sweet, but she tends to keep to herself like most prima donnas. I believe that she knows more about the chandelier incident than she lets on. What do you think she knows? When I mentioned that she saw the opera ghost the other day, she turned quite pale and said not to spread such rumors. How long have you been associated with the opera? My family has been with the opera all the way back to my great-grandmother. My mother was a costume seamstress. My grandmother was in the ballet like me. My great-grandmother worked for the public sector of the opera. Merci, je suis... Adieu. Adieu, monsieur. Okay. Um... We're gonna... Look at Trash Bucket. It's empty and has a perfumey smell. Interesting, I guess. This is all very like I can't tell what any of this stuff is because it's so pixelated. How did people play this? Like, I'm a 90s baby. Uh, I'm a 90s baby. And even I'm sitting, I like I played games like this and even I'm sitting here just going. It's, this is an insignificant little wastebasket. There's one thing I learned from the Mystery Legends game, it's click on 
everything. Uh, cluttered with several notices, mostly crew calls, casting announcements, rehearsal schedules, and other theater-related business. Okay. It's closed and locked, so I'm assuming that's Christine's dressing room. Um, maybe we need to go find that other dude, or we can go upstairs real fast, but we may need to go find that other dude because he said to check back with him, maybe he has the keys for some of this shit, I don't know. This is all so mysterious. Um. Oh, it's so slow. And then, like, the, the sound is so... Oh, it's a... Let's see. Can I take that? <laughs> Am I gonna go chopping down doors? <laughs> okay. It's only for emergencies. So, I guess this is where we're going to find Christine. Um, I think I could just waltz in and... Christine Florence, I'm glad you're here. Please sit down. Uh, why are you glad that I'm here? Because I believe I am in danger. I have been afraid to mention it to anyone until tonight. Why do you think you're in danger? Someone connected with a chandelier falling tonight. What do you mean by until tonight? You have a kind face, monsieur, since I can trust you. Can you tell me anything about the chandelier falling? Yes, I suppose I must speak up now. I've been af afraid to mention anything until this happened. I believe it is all because of me and that these poor people were killed. Why do you think this was because of you? Because the Opera Ghost has returned to seek his revenge. But why me? I do not know. What makes you think he is after you? Because I received a note from him. What does the note say? He is seeking revenge on me for leaving him to die alone or something like that. I don't know what he means. We always have this regression of Eric in all of these weird sequels where... Uh, do you still have the note? Yes, if you want it, you can have it. It's there in my dressing gown. Um... What do you know of him? Only that his name was Eric, and he was a talented composer and architect. Some say he possessed some black magic abilities, but who knows? <laughs> you probably think I might be crazy, but I believe in him. He speaks to me in my dreams. Actually, it's the same dream over and over. Tell me about your dreams. There's a mysterious man dressed formally in a cape. He's standing in the shadows with mist surrounding him. He beckons to me. He has a seductive quality that I cannot resist. I go to him, but his face is in shadow. What else happens in the dream? 
He... Oh! Good God! What the hell?! <laughs> I was not expecting this! <gasps> what?! <gasps> what?! <laughs> what the hell is this game?! <laughs> to me. At first it's passionate and pleasurable, then I always begin to feel trapped and I struggle to get away. I reach up to move his face into the light, but he won't let me. What does he do then? I don't really think I want to know. Uh... Okay, so he tries to kill her. This is some kinky shit we're getting into. Um, I'm <laughs> getting a little. <laughs> Damn. Uh, have you ever heard of Christine Day? Yes, I know the story of the Phantom. No one knows what happened to Christine Day or her lover Ronald Shanyu. Supposedly they disappeared together. I don't blame them. I've heard stories that I resemble her. You're not related to her, are you? Frankly, I do not know. My grandmother was orphaned, so I'm unsure of my lineage prior to her. There is only one curious clue. What is that clue? This girl's full of information. She was born in Scandinavia, and that's where Christine Daae was from. And to where it is speculated, that is where she and Raoul Shun fled. This is very LaRue accurate. Very, very much. Have you ever seen him when you're awake? Never only in my dream, but little Julius claimed to have seen them. She describes him just as he appears in the dream. I'll take a look at the note, if you don't mind. Beware, I have returned to seek my revenge against you for leaving me to die in loneliness and solitude. Not even your lover can save you this time. Why do we have this regression with Eric? We have this beautiful redemption moment at the end of the novel, musical, everything. And then we have these sequels where he turns into a complete asshole again. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Do not leave me. I'm frightened, okay? Get a hold of yourself! You're safe here. <laughs> I was kissing you. I'm gonna not try and be a complete asshole. <laughs> Promise me you'll return, alright? I feel like we've known each other before somewhere. I think we all... I promised to return. I don't know. It's very strange. Um, uh, um, okay. Oh wait, maybe we should look at this giant-ass mirror. Let's go look at... Permanently fixed to that wall. Mm-hmm. It's not made for pushing. How about open? You attempt to open the mirror, but 
quickly deduce that your action would be a waste of your valuable time and energy. Okay. So, that was really weird. I was not expecting that. <sighs> Christine's having some uh, strange dreams. Good lord. This is very much like Mystery Legend. A lot of walking, a lot of just. And they're so slow. Why you so slow? This flight of stairs. Oh shit. Suck. Someone didn't yell heads. Calling heads when you drop something is the first rule in the theater. Uh, doesn't appear to be anyone here. Was this an accident or something else? Can you take that? Sandbag. Commonly used in theaters counterweights, uh, heavy 10 pound bag, looks cut. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Be careful looking at it. <laughs> oh my. We're gonna get another glimpse of Eric. what it seems like. Someone is watching. Um... Guess we just keep going. What is this? Uh... The laws of physics will not allow you to do that. <laughs> this game is so weird. Well, it's like one of the lights and that's the gel that goes in it. Oh, we found another one. Why he is taking all of these. I see a note. Yes, there is. Dear Rao, it is time that we settle our differences. A hundred years is a long time to hold a grudge, and the weight has been...
become unbearable. Revenge is the sweetest of all music, and soon the opera house shall be ringing with it. Okay. So basically we've got the, the, the reincarnation uh, plot going on. Um, bit predictable, but, you know. Oh my. Why do we feel the need to take all of the gels? I really don't. I don't know why we need to take all these gels. Like, why he would feel this was something he should pick up. They go into the lights. And make pretty colors. Um, can't go... We have to go this way, I guess. I'm just like waiting to see Eric again with his little creepy. <laughs> oh boy, this game has gotten weird already. Goodness. Um, can't go that way. I'm just clicking on everything, you guys, because I don't know. Um, well, maybe we can go back to that guy now. That his feet make is like squeaky or something. <laughs> like what? You were not sitting in the orchestra section seats this time. What are you looking at? Um...
Yo, could you walk any slower? Oh my god. You are just acting like you have all the time in the world. Been told all this crazy shit and you are just... You know what? Uh, you know what guys? I think I'm actually gonna call it here. Um, I've found pretty much everything I could in the uh, areas that they were telling me. I've probably gone way over my hour, so um... We'll leave it off here. Hit that like button, please subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I update. Um, uh, you can follow me on Patreon. You can, uh, if you become a subscriber, then I will give you a shout out at the end of um, at the videos. So uh, please help me there so I can keep bringing the Phantom Madness to you. Um, Stay fantastic with the pH and keep your hand at the level of your eyes. Bye!